Are we live? Are we live? All right. <laughs> What's going on, good people? Terrell C.W. Lynch, Mr. What What, Mr. I Am The Possible, and I help people to see what they are so they can like what they see. Listen, as I've said a million times before, and I will continue to say it, guys, I am on a mission to fill the world with people that like themselves and who know what, yes, what, what they are makes it possible for them to do so. Now, listen, the word like is by definition, it means to find something to be enough, something to be adequate, something to be sufficient and satisfactory. So when I say I help people to see what they are so they can like what they see. Ultimately, my desire, my mission, my goal, what I am about, if this is your first time tuning in, I help people find a greater sense, not only of their significance, but satisfactory, satisfaction in themselves. Now today, I wanna to talk to you guys about this idea of greatness. See, many times in this world, man, Greatness is always something to be achieved. It's always something to be earned. But I'm learning the more I live and the more I study this idea and concept of greatness and the, and the more I understand what I am and what we all are, I'm coming into this understanding, this realization, right? That greatness is not something that we earn. It's something that we express. I'll say that again. Your greatness is not something that you have to earn. You don't have to get it. You don't have to hunt for it. You don't have to search for it. You don't have to allocate something uh, uh, um, to get it. You don't have to accumulate something to get it. You don't have to work for it at all. It's not something that you have to earn. Now, I know what the world tells us. I know what the world conditions us to believe, that it's always somewhere out in the tomorrow land. Well, like I said yesterday, tomorrow is a liar. It's always promising us something that we don't already have yet today. And I'm not going to be like the rest of them cats, man. I'm not going to be like everybody else. In fact, that's what this whole live is about today. Accepting your greatness. It's not something that you have to earn. It's something you just have to express. Now, I want to draw your attention to this tree. See, this tree in all its glory. Go ahead and take a shot up. Check out the tree. Up, up, up and down. Look at that tree. That tree is awesome, right? It's fully grown. It's fully matured. It's, it's, it's standing here doing everything that it was supposed to do. Now, I don't know the name of this tree. I don't know the specific kind that this tree is, but I can promise you that this tree began as a small, a small nut, some sort of small, uh, insufficient little, little morsel, some, something small that, that, that falls along the ground. Perhaps come with me real quick. Perhaps it was about this size. I don't know. Let's just, let's just say, let's say that this tree began like this at this size, right? And it's something that you know, my son and I, who's on the camera, we just walked over here. We didn't even pay any attention to this. This would, would normally seem so insufficient. It would seem so, you know, whatever. We can just toss it around. We can walk right over it. We can pay no attention to it at all. But that little guy is the beginning of something great. See, this, this is what most of us see ourselves as. And we have been conditioned. We've been taught since childbirth to belittle this, to find this not worthy of anything, to find this not sufficient, to find this not satisfactory, to find this to be not enough. But, but come with me real quick. See this, this, when planted, this becomes this. See, but the truth is, it's okay, the camera's fine. The truth is this guy and this guy, they're one and the same. See, I am the possible. I am that which I am becoming. I and my possibilities, they're one and the same. Everything I hope to be tomorrow, I already am today. You are already great. Your greatness has already occurred. It's in you. In fact, it is you. You 
are great and you are greatness. It just needs to be expressed. And I want to be an example. I want to be one that, 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 that swims upstream. I want to be one that goes against the grain. I want to be one that stands out uh, to be a little awkward, to be a little weird, to be a little nutty in the brain, to be a little unlike anyone else and like anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got enough courage. I'm okay to be just like I am. Why? Because this, what I'm saying to you today, this is my greatness. I can't be like them. I can't sound like all the other motivational speakers. It's, it's time out for motivation. It's time for true, authentic insight and inspiration from that which is within. It's time for my voice to be heard, just like it's time for you to be expressed. So the best way that I can inspire you to be expressed is for me to express me, for me to do me, for me to live my best life. That's the best gift that I can possibly give to you. For me to scream from the mountaintop, I am the possible, so that you can say you are the possible. I can say I'm Mr. What What, so that you can understand and you can know and you can embrace and you can champion your what. See, we're all going through stages, we're all going through the ups and the downs. We're, we're all going through different things in our lives. But what I've learned is that value is not earned, it's just learned. Value, I'll say it again, it's not something that we have to earn. Your worth is not something that you have to earn. Your worth is something that you have to learn. It's ha it has to be discovered. It's always been there. I promise you, your value, your worth, your significance, it's always been there it's time now for you to begin to see it you are already great why because you already are as i close i want to remind you of these three things number one if you found value in anything anything that i shared if you found value in something that i shared i want you to drop me a comment let me know Holla at me. Holla at your boy. Let me know that you found value. Give me a hashtag value. Let me know that you heard what I was saying. Let me know that I hit home somewhere. Let me know that I motivated, that I inspired, that I gave you some insight. Let, let me know that, that, that maybe something I shared meant a little something to you, okay? I want that feedback. Number two, if you know someone that's in need of this message, remember I'm on a mission to fill this world not a little bit, to fill this world with people that like themselves, that find themselves to be enough, to be adequate, and to be satisfactory. So I'm asking for your help. If you know someone like that, or if you got friends and family, coworkers that are on your timeline, share this video. Share me to your timeline. Share this video to your timeline. You never know the difference you can make with one little click because one word can literally change someone's life. I've told this story so many times that in 2001, Pastor Eric Brown told me what I was and it revolutionized my life. It was one word. He said, Travail, you are a teacher. Five words that changed my life. That's all it took was five words and my life has never been the same. You may be able to do that for somebody today. By just one share, you may be able to inspire somebody in a way that would completely change their lives. So number one, if you found value, leave me a comment. I, I want to hear back. Number two, if you found value and you have someone else in your life that you might think might benefit from this message, then go ahead and share that to your timeline. And number three, as I close, I want to remind you guys, listen, you, now you are the greatest thing that you will ever achieve. I know that, that, that this world tells you that you've got to achieve all these other things. You've got to do all these other things. You've got to accumulate all these other things. You've got to get all these other things. I know what we've all been told, the lie we've always been sold. We've always been told. I get it. But you are the greatest thing that you will ever achieve. And get this. You, in and of yourself, you are great. Right now, right here, no matter where you are, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've not done, your greatness is not something that you have to earn. You don't have to prove it to anybody. It's something that you have to express. And you know what that thing is. 
I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I, I've got a feeling that you know exactly what it is. There's something that you want to share with the world. It's something that you want to do. It's something that you want to say. It's something that you want to express. It's been in your gut. It's been in your spirit. It's been in your belly. It's been in your heart for years. And you've been intimidated. You've been afraid. You've been scared. You've been conditioned to, to press that thing down, to cover it up, and not let anyone see because it doesn't line up with what everyone else is saying, because it doesn't make sense to those around you, because it doesn't make you feel like you fit in with the crowd. Well, I got news for you. You weren't created to fit in. You were created to be the unique expression of God's glory that you were created to be, and that is your greatness. It's already there, baby. You ain't gotta do nothing but express it. So this is Travell C. W. Lynch, Mr. What What founder of I Am The Possible, author of the new book, What Is Enough, signing off and leaving you guys with this, the greatest thing that you will ever, ever achieve, the greatest thing that you will ever, ever do, and the greatest thing that you will ever become is accepting of what, yes, what, Yes, what you already are. You guys be good, man. I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all. And I, yes, I believe in you. Peace.